here. It's been uh, almost uh, half a decade since I played here. Um, that, I guess, gives away my age, which unfortunately is a lot older than I wish it was. But it feels uh, really, really good to be back here. Um, it's a really, really special place for me. Um, when I first came to the Netherlands, uh, the first series of concerts that I watched was, of course, here in the Bim House. And um, I never really thought that I would be able to play here one day. And this is the second time that I get to play here. And I especially did not think that I would get to play here with an almost full orchestra, <laughs> my own music, which is, I must tell you, an incredibly surreal experience. It's like having a massive um, one million watt engine behind you, just pushing you all the way, and you have no choice but to grab hold and hang on for dear life. So it's an experience for sure. Um, the first song that we played was the opening song of my album, uh, the new album that we're here to promote, which I'll speak bit more about later and that song is called Yaka Yaka and now we're going to continue with the uh, title track of the album actually um, which is uh, the past is unpredictable only the future is certain and it's a three-part suite that I composed um, and the first part is called Gijima the second part is called Capella and the third part is called Washumuti and Gijima means run Capella means watch out and Washumuti means the house is burning Thank you so much for listening, and we will continue playing now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hopefully that stays in place this time. Um, yes, thank you. So that was the past is unpredictable, only the future is certain. And now we will continue with a song, a very short vocal song uh, called Ikostina, which is based on a transcription of a field recording. Um, before we do that, however, I would like to introduce all the band members to you. Um, so first and foremost, probably the most important man here, uh, who really wrote all of these arrangements, who helped me with all the fundraising for all of this, all of the logistical issues, we did it together. Somehow we never thought it would get this far, but it got this far. Uh, so please give a warm round of applause for Tain Bebenkhan. <laughs> Then um, some musicians that have really been with me uh, since I was in first year at the conservatory, in some instances, for sure, second year at the conservatory. So they've known me most of my adult musical life. Um, and I've been fortunate to play with these fantastic musicians, even when it was really, really unclear that anything was really going to happen with the band. They still did it. Um, I don't really understand why, but I'm still really grateful that they did it. Um, so on drums, Jeroen Butterink. <laughs> then on bass, Marco Zanini. <laughs> on piano, Chavi Torres. <laughs> and on saxophone up there with the horn section, Bernard Van Rossum. And some new members of my musical family. Um, we have played some of this music uh, together in South Africa together with some of these musicians, uh, the string players in particular. And indeed, I count them now as members of my musical family. So if you guys ever want to come to South Africa and hang just for fun, you're more than welcome to do so with me. Um, we have Jana, we have <laughs> Paul, we have George, and we have Pablo. And last but not least, the horn players, fantastic musicians, all of them. We have Nabu, we have Alistair, and we have Federico. <laughs> so we're going to play now Icostina, which is the second last song. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. The most charismatic one of us all, and I forgot him. Incredible. This is what you guys come to see, and I forgot him. Um, yes. Vernon. Vernon is a very... Please give it up for Vernon. Please. An integral part to making this music successful. Um, he sent me several voice notes. Uh, to check up on the status of the music. He built instruments for this ensemble, specifically for this ensemble. Um, and I already told him that he needs to come to South Africa, and I'm going to introduce him to all the bow players there. So please, because I forgot him, give him another round of applause, please. <laughs> all right, we continue with the Costina, and then I will talk before the last couple of songs. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much. So now uh, it is that time of the evening where we play our last couple of songs. Uh, we're going to conclude the set with a two and a half part uh, suite that I wrote uh, called Prayers Made from Grass. And this was inspired by an experience I had in Johannesburg um, during COVID-19. Um, there was a whole lot of social unrest that gripped the country at some point in 2021 um, in response to all of the lockdowns and people in um, positions of abject poverty. Um, and during this period of time, um, I went for a run in the morning um, to clear my head and because I like going for runs in the morning. Um, and I ran um, past a mosque and opposite the mosque, there was an open field and somebody had populated the open field with grass, um, uh, crosses made from grass. Um, and I found this to be an incredibly powerful metaphor, um, the notion that uh, a prayer is really something that we view as eternal, um, but grass is something so fragile, it can be destroyed by the simplest elements, fire, water, anything. And I found that contradiction to be particularly pertinent um, for the moment that we happen to be living in. Um, so I wrote this suite inspired by this that moment in South Africa. Um, before we play the suite, I would once again like to say a very big, big thank you to the band. A very, very big thank you to the BIM House for allowing us to premiere the concert here. Actually, when we were writing the funding proposals, it was really necessary to have people um, express interest in booking the project, and they expressed interest before they knew what the project would sound like. And that really allowed us to um, pursue this creative work. So it was essential. So I'd really, really like to thank them for doing that. Could you please give the BIM House a round of applause? In addition to that, I would like to thank um, the sound men for today. This is an incredibly ambitious project and they were really, really patient with us even when we were making a lot of noise during sound check and being rather obnoxious. So please give them a round of applause. I would also like to thank uh, Docs Records. I guess there's some representatives here. The, le the album was released on them, and once again, ah, oh, there they are. I'm uh, not really a signed artist, so they decided to take a chance to help me release the album, and they've really helped me to push it, PR, and all of that sort of stuff. So please give those two chaps sitting over there a round of applause. And of course, we have the album for sale, um, which uh, you can buy with either cash. And I'm very, very technologically challenged, but Georges uh, helped me to set up some kind of a link that will allow you to scan a QR code, and then you can pay it. Uh, so I have a QR code or cash, and it's 15 euros, so you can pick it up after the concert if you enjoy it. Thank you so much.
All right. All right. <laughs> Four minutes, thing, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I just want to say, Puma, um, for all of us, I think, but especially for me, it was a, it was a great honor to work on your music, as you know. <laughs> but um, it's also an honor to tell you in front of an audience that uh, for me, this was a very special experience and uh, that I wish, wish all the best for this music and that it can, uh, can reach the audience that needs it and uh, can train our ears because it really the, train, trains my ears as well and I truly, truly love it. Um, and we'd like to conclude with one song that I also truly, truly love. Um, and it's called After the Lake. <laughs> 